reefers, aquarium lovers, and hobbyists. My name is Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master and today is another beautiful day on Hornby Island. I've posted some new videos and there are some upcoming on my channel so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed my videos so far. I'll be headed back to Victoria in the next day or two to go and start working more on my Reef Master Gallery. I have a large space to have a lot of fun in it this fall and this winter so I really really hope that you join me. Now I'm going to head off on my adventure and I'll check in with you after I get some amazing footage. I'm here on Sandpiper Beach on day two of my trip on Hornby Island. We're going to trek out some of the different life on the beach and tidal pools as well as hopefully get into the water and have a little bit of a snorkel and look around. Now this is going to be much different than your tropical reefs as we're in a much cooler climate up in the Pacific Northwest. This is an amazing beach as it is going to be a lot of lava stones and different volcanic rocks that form the beach and it's quite interesting. You can have a look on Google about Hornby Island's geological history to learn more about it. As you can see the shoreline of Sandpiper Beach is phenomenal. With the honeycomb sandstone and geological structures it makes for a beautiful walk along the shoreline. I found a great area to jump into the water and have a snorkel. We'll see some of the underwater light. Now, the rocks at Hornby here are quite dark, so the sun heats them up, and when the tide comes in, the water gets quite lovely to have a swim in. As I first enter the water, you see that there is an abundance of macro algae. These algae play a very important role in the ecosystem of the Pacific Northwest. The shoreline waters are dominated by the brown algae, orchophyta, the green algae, chlorophyta, and some red algae, the rhodophyta. They are absolutely stunning. Because these are tidal waters, they are much more abundant in macroalgae than sponges or other anemones in sea life. The macroalgae that are most abundant in the inner tidal waters are the orcophyta or the bladderwort macroalgae. Many of the macroalgae are seasonal. The chlorophyta or green macroalgae are more predominant in the winter and spring seasons. And the brown algae, the orcophyta, are more predominant in the summer as they are able to withstand the hotter temperatures and the sun as they are exposed with the tide. Throughout the year, each macroalgae plays an important role as they provide nutrients to different sea life as well as important habitats for different creatures that you may find throughout the year. The rocky shoreline and bays surrounding Hornby and Denman, as well as the Gulf Islands, are known as oyster bays and are plentiful with oysters that play a diverse role in the ecosystems. If you are visiting Hornby Island, please ensure that you do not eat the oysters as they may often be contaminated by red tide, a paralytic shellfish toxin that can be deadly. And with the reduced amount of health care on the islands, it is not a good chance to take. However, in the winter months, you may check with the fisheries and local regulations to determine how many oysters you may harvest and where you may harvest them from. While I was exploring the tidal waters, I was told that the humpback whales were actually off Flora Island, that is on the southern point of Hornby. This water is being rich in the planktons are a wonderful feeding ground for these animals. I was unfortunate to not be able to see them on this trip. Here you see one of the fish species that is quite common in the waters around Sandpaper and the other beaches on Hornby Island. We will have a look at the different fish species in another video. You may notice that the waters are quite murky on Hornby Island in the summer months. This is due to the planktonic blooms that play a very important role in our ecosystems here in British Columbia. Starfish are also very common in these tidal waters and are very enjoyable to observe. Now I am exploring these tidal waters of the shores of Hornby Island and Sandpiper Beach at high tide. 
there is much more diversity of life to explore when the tides are much lower. You may be able to see different sponges and beautiful anemones. And I highly recommend checking out tidal charts to see when these low tides are. However, nonetheless, it is extremely enjoyable and a fascinating world to explore. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other videos and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I post other videos.